Hello, I'm Vlad here and welcome to lesson 20 of this course. In this course we'll go through using the graph tools. So let's uh, start with the first one called column graph tool and draw something. And then you see we got a table that we can edit. So let's see. Two, three, five. So I'm just in inputting some values here. And you can see that you can see the cell size, number of digits, column width. We also got a bit to import data to transpose raw. Transpose rows, let me show you, yeah. and uh, reverting and applying. There you go. You can put the most things in here, of course, if you want. But we got a basic idea of how this is going. And uh, if you're doing statistics works, we illustrate that this is a very good tool to have. The next one is called the stacked column graph tool, and again we just draw, we input some values quickly, and we click apply. So this allows you to stack on top of each other, and it's very useful as well, pretty similar to the other one. Okay, let's delete this one as well, and then we see the bar graph tool. We draw one. Again, we input some values here, and you click OK. As you see, in this case, the bars are horizontal. The controls are pretty much the same for, as the other ones, so we can move on. Let's delete this one, and we draw another one. This one is called the stacked bar, yep. and we can, and again, input some uh, files here, and we click Apply. As you can see, they are stacked. The controls again are the same, so we just move on. The next one is called the line graph crawl. We will be inputting some values here. Okay, and click OK. And this allows you to draw lines and show you a very nice line graph. We can put, of course, more here. And there you go, you got more lines. If you want, we'll close this and move on. Then we got the error graph tool. So again, let's input some quick values here. Doesn't matter what you do. Just uh, have something so it can work with. And there we go, an error graph tool. As you must have noticed, this is very easy, and uh, we'll just go over everything quickly. That's it. This is how it should work. We got to the last one, pie graph tool, and we can input numbers. As you can see, the, vector, the rows define how many areas you have, and if, I mean, and uh, columns define data. So if we click, we can see the effect. This is very useful, especially if you try to combine it, maybe with uh, the 3D tools and make some 3D. Uh, Graph illustrations, that could work. The next one is uh, the radar graph tool. So let's just do something here. Again, let's input some values. And click OK. And there we go. We got the radar graph tool. One last thing I want to show you is go to object, graphs, and you can choose type if you want to add a drop shadow 
edge to edge lines and add different other effects to each one of them. Of course, the, uh, some of the options will be different. It's choosing sides, you can choose value axis, you can go to tick values, tick marks, like none, short, full width, add labels, category axis, and so on. You can choose the ratio, and for the right rule, you can choose like this. Now, they added the drop shadow to it. And you can disable it if you want, just go to graph, type, and click OK. Then you have uh, data, which is the same. You have a design, you can choose a new design. OK, you cannot use pattern this time. And then uh, we got column and marker, which is currently disabled. OK, you got the hang of uh, the graph course, and we'll be moving on to lesson 21. Thank you.